Ang bingele legni na nonga batande gayo. Ngiti toguzan, ngiti ndawe, guni na bando na bamanzi. It's me, Matapelo, otherwise known as Babanyoga or Kokom Kulungomo, based in the south of Johannesburg. Today we are talking about Umdawe, and I feel like um, my lips are dry. I sh you know my story in the Vaseline, right? Of course, it's far. <clears throat> So, we are talking about Umdawe so that you can get to understand some of the ancestral spirits uh, you might think you have or some of the ancestral spirits you are twassing, have twassad, are interested in knowing about uh, so that, uh, look, I extend the lesson to everyone because you might have done your Umdawe and still are not understanding really how it is that they affect your life why did you have to twasa them and what they mean in your healing space now that you finish twasing or you might be twassering and really uh, there's no time to things are busy there at the Mbande, there's no time to be like so Baba, what's this what's that um i'm a gobel i don't judge them i understand and sometimes it is that you are having dreams or you are having symptoms and you suspect that you have a, a specific ancestor um one thing i want to say i will post a video about how to choose your gobela should it be that you are being told that your time is now you need to go and initiate or you've been paddling on a gobela for a long time uh, you will never be attracted your ancestors will be never be attracted to a person who doesn't have what you need so when you follow the proper procedure you always know that where you land up is what they what you need uh, essentially so that you don't worry about interviewing gobelas about okay so do you have makosi do you have this because somebody's got people lie uh, people lie uh, <laughs> people lie and <laughs> it might not be what you need so when we allow with our assistance and i'll explain how we do that then we always ensure that where it feels the skill set is needed for that particular training again umuntu can twasa over and over especially for people that have many different spirits um sometimes uh lifuna certain or different types of knowledge so in Dwaso does not only it's not a singular for everybody other people end up twicing once or twice or three times or whatever the case may be so for that particular training it will be attracted to what it needs so if you are twicing umguni where you are definitely ndawe will be done so umdawo is a water spirit uh, umdawo uh, or the ndawo tribe is a, a tribe that resides in uh, the south central south central uh, africa uh, we can find them in zim zimbabwe uh, zambia mozambique etc etc um so umdawo is a clan or it's a nation of people uh, that have their own language which is the ndao clan language or the ndao language so mabekuluma bayabereketa and you might find even in your ntwa so that you are taught a bit of ndawe to relate to the ndawe ancestor especially when it is that we are training uh in ebens or yom ndawe or we are training the section or the part of ntwa so that is of ndao so if you are in a a a mpande that is twasising umguni definitely bazo twasisa no mdawe lava twasisa kwa no mdawe bazo twasisa umguni these things go hand in hand and if you have any other water spirits you will see that they are all connected to mdawe as well meaning angeku konu pagamisa inzunza indawe yako mdawe wako unge again ziwa even for abelozi bamanzi they share a lot of food with the ndao people uh, they share uh, some of the rituals as well that are done for the the ndawe uh, they relate a lot with the ndawe when you have abelo zibamans as well although the training is not the same the training is very spiritual but we will cross over to abelozi when it is that it's the day or the topic yabelozi because that's another topic people are very uh, interested about I do know also there's this ex um there is a confusion between umdawa and inzunza as well uh, and i feel like some of those things 
uh, you are rightfully so to be confused but we'll try and clear it up more within the video yen zunza once you've watched this one and uh, when you move to another lesson yen zunza you will be able to see some of the differences and some of the things that can link them together and how you can tell for sure or for definite um that your ndwaso will be underwater if you have nzunza spirit right so today umdawe umdawe uh, comes from countries that were very much affected by colonization mzambique for instance was affected by colonization uh, by the people of portugal so a lot of portuguese took over uh, uh, Mozambique, there were civil wars uh, in which a lot of people died in Sapa, uh, the Msapa River, and what dies in a river or a water space then becomes part of the water. Uh, we don't have situations where Silanda band was the manzina, band to Mabeshonele manzini due to drowning or whatever, uh, they then belong to the water. And so you have a um, the birth of uh, that water spirit uh, by people that had died in the Msapa River uh, as a spirit, not as a people or not as a clan. Now, I will keep reiterating this so that we can separate. We, we, we actually have Ndawe people. We actually have Abandbom Ndawe. They are a nation, they are a clan, but we then refer to the spirit of a mandawe which is an ancestral spirit that can possess a person and will need that person to initiate umdawake so that they can work gomdawake also that they can um heal from umdawake okay so i hope that is uh, i hope that is clear right so umdawe can be a foreign spirit it can be ilozla sekaya as well so when we go through a a process uh, in your initiation called ukukajek asikajeka kabili kule ziyimpande la sithwasisa umnguni nomdawe sikajeka umnguni to know who your mnguni is and then we kajeka to know who your mdawe is that means that we surround the rosy with herbs that are a very famously belonging to them like the fembo uh, ifembo like siropo those are very indigenously ndawe herbs that is what makes that rosy tick and so senza iba so with those medications so that we can get that ancestor out to say that uh, i am so and so and i relate to the child in this way me and the child are not related this is my surname this is where i come from and this is what i need the child to do for me if does lily that is foreign to you that has no connection or dna connection to you but needs the work to be done and has chosen you has agreements with your ancestors that you will do the work um for them that they need to be done and then we've got that will say i'm coming from the child's mother's or maternal side my parents were born in swaziland but my grandfather was born in Mozambique. we married into swaziland and gave birth to this child this child is a descendant uh, of mine or is a great grandchild of mine from the child's maternal side etc etc so you can understand that uh, the names that can come out can be very dull sounding names they can be um they can be um guni sounding names as well and i i say this because um through marriage it can happen that that person also was a descendant but is very much um of the ndawo dna but the ndawo spirit has to explain how that DNA is coming about and where where are they descending if they are saying that they are related to you so that Sikonugusuganisum Gunino 
Masas hamba siye mfuleni ekzineni wom seven zwom dawe. Siyo parula. Siyo parula that particular lozi. We are not just taking a spirit. We are taking a lozi. That is a ndawe lozi. That has said its name. How it is coming to you. How it's related or not related to you. What it needs from you. Etc. That, that is the person we are going to go and fetch. Masitisia parula. Uh, I hope that I'm not crossing over too much. Uh, so, um, you'll find a lot of descendants, uh, Guiani side, uh, Swatini, uh, even in Venda, you'll find descendants because of what I, that crossing over people who needed refuge, people who came in by marriage, etc., etc. So, this is how we can relate in Southern uh, Africa to the Ndawa spirit. As Masiti, Ginokokomkulu, Ongpete, Oumdawami. Right, this can be plural, this can be more than one spirit, and those spirits don't all have to be relating or relating to you. It just depends how many spirits are coming out. Masika Jega and Basebenza Ganjani Bafunukoga in Ganjani in Evans or Zabo, they will also differ slightly, even though Umdawa has a specific Evans or work that it does when it comes to healing people, etc. etc. We have. Um, my lips are dry. They are extra dry today. And I don't understand because yesterday, my lips were okay. I wasn't shooting yesterday. Now that I'm shooting, they have to be dry. Is the devil not a liar? <laughs> hmm. But uh, it's fine. Okay, so Isindao, Masiti Baya Bereketa, Isindao, you'll find uh, Shonas. Uh, I was having a conversation with a brother. Uh, Mkulu uh, actually from uh, Zim and he was saying he is in Debele but he, he can pick up from his uh, Shona brothers that he is in Dawe whether it's not identical and that is because it's a mixture of uh, Nguni languages that have uh, combined to make Isindawe. So, Abakuluma Isishona they can hear a bit of Isindawe although they'll get lost here and there. Excuse me, Eva. Okay, and I told you SMS, ne? Hmm. Okay, all right. All right, okay. Okay, so <laughs> some of the you can get uh, symptoms in your financial life because uh, umdawe is a water spirit and a very powerful one at that. Uh, some people, when they come to Twasam Dawe, is because they are losing things bit by bit and life is falling apart in terms of finances, jobs, money coming in, Nimalai Bambegi, etc., etc. That is because, see, Shugutinyanga, when Yomdawe is not done properly, Iavala is kwama, Senyanga, Suguti Abantubeze, Vazotola, Banga Koki. Uh, no ma imalinga bonagali enyangeni it can be a problem that is coming from or an outcry that is coming from umdawe or inyanga goes ayo twasa whatever spirit they twasa and umdawe ukona and it's not being done zero zilch at all uh, that is a complaint that can come through to say we are here and you are not going to these other spirits are not going to work mautu peta manono mautu peta makozi mautu pete ini umdawe gantu konu nginzuanga that causes a big financial issue issue in a person's life even in a person's normal nine to five when you you have a career besides being a sangoma or inyanga it was seal so a uh, one that can be an issue two health issues as well can come about in terms of 
umdawe umdawe causes a lot of tension in the body a lot of tension that can go from spine to waist and especially waist and in terms of waist umdawe controls our fertility when we are speaking about males or females uh, males as well guys are affected by umdawe you can go to a clinic and they say there's nothing wrong with you you can have children and uh, you are not able to produce children and they are saying no try this try that you are trying for years and you're unable to produce children either as a female or as a male uh, because and as we know the male reproductive system is also waste-based uh, even though they do not have a womb uh, those soldiers are produced there uh, by the navel chakra this uh, area here for both men and women is very active when it is time to produce children and so around the waist umdawe can sit around the waist and cause fertility issues they can cause different types of fertility issues meaning umuntanga kesha they can fall pregnant and months later they lose the children uh, number two you can find a person not able to produce at all at all number three in fact i've known people to reject a uh, ubungoma and ubungoma babo you'll find that they had mguni and dawe and they've taken children that have uh, were alive meaning those people were given chances to uh, produce children and they will die and because you are refusing um dawe is very short tempered very short temper they are not quick to forgive they are not quick to have patience once they want what they want they want it and they want it done the right way and so they can punish a person harshly even by taking kids that were already alive there are people whose kids never work after graduation and etc etc the parents go and shola and they say what's wrong with my kids you know they went to these fancy schools i paid so much school fees and then you are told that no your problem is that you didn't trust and now it's affecting the children that was very much an intelligent laws because they know where to catch you they know where you are small and that is where bazo kinzelela khona ukuthi bakwazisa ukuthi ithina laba sifikile and this is what we can do so they are not past that they are not past taking people's children uh, for the people that were given a chance or allowance to produce children uh, and so that is one of the symptoms is gamdawe for other people they can have symptoms like endotromosis oh and in the autumn you guys can see where i'm going with it okay in the thrombosis in there is a condition a uh, by medical society that uh, is said to die they diagnose it in women and they diagnose this condition usually after a woman goes into a her periods puberty stage where the woman has very bad cramps heavy bleeding to the point where when they're on their periods they can't even go to school they have terrible cramping they have irregular periods they have heavy periods and they have heavy periods for a long period of time those that way can also do that my dear they can also do that my dear it can definitely do that because that is where and you find those those ladies with those sort of symptoms they most of the time have issues of fertility just like the medical books diagnose in the traumosis it can be a cause of infertility because is cutting and then you can have symptoms like flutters in the stomach or lower area kicks like there is a baby in your stomach or butterfly like feelings or cramping during the middle of nowhere that is also a symptom yomdawe uh, i hope that i have uh, covered it okay in terms of dreams uh, a person can dream of a lot of water they can dream of snakes you know your what 
for me definitely if someone showed me this video when i was like nine it would have helped me a lot <laughs> no because those snakes and me man it was years and years of running from those snakes i never knew what the hell you know my friend what's going on you know and wow man yeah so you can dream of snakes big snakes water snakes uh, things like that uh, and in the dreams you can find the snake you can find it chasing you guys you know when we talk about dream interpretation really is so difficult we can only do it by spirit to get it perfectly right but when we generalize dreams it's very hard to tell whether it's a good or a bad thing because where it is that it's time for that person to do the rosy's work it doesn't necessarily mean that it's evil it, is, it, it just is discussing the relationship between yourself and the rosy at the time where the rosy is saying clearly i'm calling you sipati and sipati is like abu i'm not coming i'm not going there and easy and the uh and that was like no come here sipati because it's time for you and me to embrace my girl you need to sit down and you need to let me tell you what we're going to do about what we're going to do and another what we're going to do <laughs> and then and then sipati is going to dream of you know and and that was there, like, yeah, Oksalai, one of these days I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya. And I noticed that um, I had these dreams until I trusted. And when I trusted, I, I told my Baba about it. I said, Baba, now that I'm trusting, I'm really getting so many dreams about snakes. And I'm not sure if it's my enemies or what the, the case may be. And he said, what are these snakes doing? And I said, they've always been chasing me my whole life. I've been running and he says yes that's because you've been running from them you need to sit still and let the snake embrace you and um, he said for now just partner them to give you courage so that you can accept them and I did that and I had the dream where they came around me and they embraced me and I woke up and I never had a snake dream again so obviously that was the point so to find us in a space where we are bowing down to say we surrender and we give you ourselves and that is when you you sipati can have a rest at night you know sipati can definitely have a rest at night so the, the the that's the snake dreams you can dream uh of people of a dark complexion of a light complexion uh people speaking foreign languages in your dreams you can dream of cows guys cows ne? definitely mdawe a cow uh, you can dream of white people because of that portuguese influence kaloku when they colonized they saw these gorgeous ladies payana you know in southern africa central africa and they were like oh no we gotta pick the grapes and taste the grapes and so that's how children were made that were by porch and by uh, ndau right and uh, so that's why you can dream of white people you can dream of indians as well those are just some of the people that were there during colonization that mixed with the the nations or the clans that produced those t types of children so they become your forefathers as well and that's why sometimes you dream of white people or indian people uh, etc etc so some of those uh some of the dreams that you will see in terms of um in seven zoyomdawa is very much based around chickens uh, although what they really love zingomo but when siba sebenzela when we do rituals for them we will use chickens but you see a lot of oils that they prefer are from a cow uh, whereas Mguni definitely prefers four-legged animals and when we talk about four-legged animals they prefer a goat as I mentioned in the previous video that is because that particular nation or clan dealt a lot with chickens gagate in their everyday diet in their everyday uses of uh, chickens they, it was just very frequent and uh, that was an animal that was easily available for them so whenever we are peas undawe we will use ink uku and white chickens at that right uh, uh, i'm trying not to miss anything it differs from region to region 
there are people who will get them that way without a bra on which is uh, what i believe is what what we follow still and uh, i guess because my mbande is a uh, is has a uh, forefathers from mozambique originally and swaziland which was had heavy influence uh, of them dawus themselves so we still get that without the top on without the bra on for umdawe and this will be done under a white sheet um the white sheet is to represent the cleanliness yamandawe and everybody will have their own description but i believe a healer and a healer has to have a chat with their ancestors to get answers to certain things so that you and you yourself are not confused because you're gonna watch 50 uh, videos one is gonna say white is for um a piece of the sky that fell at whatever and then another is going to say no they used to like white marshmallows and another is going to say no white is because of whatever but it's because of the purity of the spirit umdaw is a water spirit which immediately makes it in or no please do not confuse in or no ilozi and in or no the term to describe very clean and neat people abantu bamanzi right in or no is somebody that is very neat so ilozi lomdaw is very clean they want they, they they stand for cleanliness and that is what the white sheet is about it draws them nearer uh, some will use a black sheet in other pandas or other areas where they twasisa umdawe and that black sheet is standing for that is how they draw the power from umdawe uh, and that is one of the things that evokes the umdawe spirit in those particular areas of course they must be able to wield that sheet and that is why it is specific to those areas where they have that connection to that black cloth and they know how to wield it because as we know black is a curtain that can unveil power and it can unveil good and bad power right so it, it needs to be wielded just like a candle just like the black candle just like black beads just like black anything right um cool and then you'll find um i don't think i have the palo the palo is one of the pies that are related to umdawe because it is a water uh, or it 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 relates to water spirit this also is a this is a jetty uh, a maroon jetty this relates to umdawe a lot and guys i've been around some places okay and everybody has different explanations for the colors as per me and how i was taught this maroon one in jetiyamakehla the red the blue in jetiyabokoko right so if you have mdawe that is a female you will be most likely be asked to uh, have a blue jetty if you have a mix you can have a maroon or a blue or ukhlanga nisa mandlozo wakini your maternal and paternal babe abangani ipai la bangani it is to ukhlanga nisa yozlozis other people have it all the way around and i just decided not to give myself a headache this is how i relate to them as a, as per what i was taught and uh, my closet goes with it as well but other people will have completely different meanings <laughs> we also know that the different areas also will use different types of jetties when they parula and when they kajeka mabe sebenza umdawe in zim they usually use this one which is the maroon one and in zambique they usually will go for the red one and even in zambique you'll find them saying no it's the clan down the road i am am sapa where are you gonna find yourself understanding yourself okay so that is what we know in general in general okay and in jetty has a pattern of flowers this is representing the medication one of the medications i mentioned that they are using all the time to femba maska jega which is ifembo so these are the leaves of the fembo plant and um yes so umdawe 
Nogukita. Uh, here in Southern Africa a lot, we are sitting down. You'll find some areas in Kiani, they gita umdawe without the top on, as I mentioned, but they are flat on the bum and they gita umdawe. Beheli pants, be bam da mashiti ganje, bam lalisa, bam lalisa, bam lalisa nyakanda ganje. And then you'll find some areas coming down toward Johannesburg, Pretoria, etc. We gita umdawe on the knees with the head facing down and then we have our own uh, movements of which we use um umdawe right so very much very many areas here in south africa they get umdawe pansy that is to call a truce between those civil wars between amangun and amandawe it is also a royal rosy umdawe so we bow to show respect uh uh, uh, and we don't consider standing on the feet respect but uh, uh, we can't generalize because there are areas like in zim i think it is where they get uh, standing up umdawe and they will have their own very good reasons is uh, because amanda where they are spread amongst all these areas they were different uh, just like amangoni wase zambia will be different to amanguni wala amazulwala amangoni wale they will have their own culture even though you can find them wearing bare shoes like amazulwala wase natali you'll find amangoni wale wase zambia wase zimbabwe wase mzambique uh, i have a lot of people looking for me right now uh, you'll find them be, 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 benza ngendle la yabo you'll find them bends and ngendlela yabo according to that ndawe that resided there and the ndawe that had influenced abo koko mkulu ba lezo impande lezo ba tina si amakosi manjere sikita ngei nyao tina siti siya koko ba sitelu kolo futi siya zitoba we are asking for a truce we are showing respect by going on our knees or sitting on our palms depending on the kind of uh <coughs> Mbande uh, that you are going from. So, Ilozilo uh, Mdawe can be extracted speaking the lang language of Mdawe. The initiate can reply in Zulu or Nguni language because those people also had Nguni influences. Remember that uh, they are made up of Nguni languages as well. Uh, and um, when we are talking about Ugu uh, Kajeka, I mean, Ukuparula, which is fetching the spirit from the river, we will bring all the things that they like. Umdawe, very much the color red and white, but red pro pro predominantly stands or represents Ikazi, Lamandawe, Elawa during those civil wars. And so we are always wearing red to represent that as re remembrance of them. And uh, white for the purity of Umdawe. And so you'll find a lot of the beating when you dream of white and red. It's straight umdawe. It can go pattern to pattern. It can go red, red, white, white. It can go red, white, red, white. It can go red, 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 white, red, red, white. It, the patterns can differ, but red and white will be for the umdawe rosy. As you can see, my beading. These are all representing a mandawe, and they will have mdawe medications inside to protect me also to draw the spirit of amandawe near me at all times and now the healing process of umdawe is not the same as umguni umdawe ganas kwa masama tambo umdawe uya shola ma if i can put it in a way to say basola nyesfuba the rosy will shola the patient they are different uh, artifacts that are used during the healing process and the coloring process of umdawe um, which will be given to the patients there are mdawe specific medications that will be given to the patient and also the doctor will have and uh, small rooms as well with special animal hairs for the process of umdawe i'm trying to be as general as possible uh, guys uh, so that i don't get into trouble this is Amazangere, and they will have a medication Yomdawe. As you can see, again, that representation of white and red again. This will be one uh, either during Oparula, anything that has to do with Yomdawe, but especially when we femba for protection purposes because it has medications, Amandawe, Ngapagat. Ugu femba. 
Since we spoke about the fact that Ukufemba is the healing process, Yamandawe, which is different to what we do when we are in our Nguni state. So when you are being a doctor uh, under your Nguni dozi, you have your Lishoba, you have your Nguni medications, you have his Kwamasako Soklola to diagnose the process, then you have the medications that you will give to the client to use. Ugufemba, Ildozi, Lizofemba, Aksi Wonka Madlozi Womdawa Aflola, yo. You can have Ildozi Lomdawe that can pick up Izindaba by means of uh, uh, possessing whatever spirits are affecting the client right and you can have uh, if you have a uh, one a dozy long dawe eli seven dayo you'll find the good tiba seven dango shola ba seven dango femba footy then you can have a, a situation where you have two uh, of which one it can differ. They don't all have to work in the same way. And who is picking up the problem? So, who is picking up the problem? So, it's a process in which the doctor or the doctor um, is going to uh, either be possessed by the spirit to speak what needs whatever information needs to come out there are very many reasons why a person can need to femba and not um solar with bones or go through a healing process with bones right you can get a, a situation where your lineage has died out you are getting married uh, as you are getting married you go and Lola to find out hey is she the one for me and then the doctor says you know what we have a problem with your uh, surname you can't lobola with this surname because they do not allow you to pass the surname on to your children their great grandchildren what do we do now because your bones are not going to come up with a, uh, a surname and now the whole lineage has died out ne? Uh, um, Goni, the doctor um, Goni can come up with a solution to say, okay, we can buy the surname, but if we want the original surname, which Abandaba Kobayai Kalela, we can femba to find out uh, who is the originator of your lineage, who is the seed of your lineage, and they can explain how they came to be, right? So the doctor or the Ndao Josi can uh, pick up that particular ancestor, come out and say, my name is this. I am from the sixth generation of this family. This is my surname. When we came to Johannesburg, I couldn't get documentation with my surname. So what I did was that I bought a surname from a guy that was working here who was kind enough to sell it to me or to borrow it to me so I could get documentation and work in the mines. That is how this surname got passed on to the very generation that is before you now. But that is not our original surname. Our original surname because I was trying to get a job in South Africa in Kimberley at the time so I bought a surname from such and such so I need you to do this and this and this to retrieve my surname and do this and do this and do that and that that is an one reason to femba so we can reach ancestors on the other side to find out information from them people that are no longer living right we can also find out information from people that are living as well so you can find situation where people are being heavily witchcrafted they are being haunted by ghosts they are being possessed by spirits etc etc where the doctor will be able to pick out to say right i am such and such and i'm doing such and such to this family for such and such a reason and then they will continue with treatment where they sniff out the problem Take it spiritually and throw it away. This is all done by your knees. The doctor is on the knees. The nurse is on the knees, sniffing out the issues and throwing them away. And this is why we say it's such a dangerous process that risks the lives of people, of the doctor himself. The doctor is the number one person that is in danger of dying because they can be met by a spirit that is a spirit of death that can take the life of Inyanga. And that is why we wear our, our things that have medicines inside to prevent things from wielding us into the darkness or taking our lives away. Right? Uh, then you can find that a family is being tormented by a certain magic that is uh, in, uh, done by invisible spirits that have been sent by a person to that family. So the doctor can take one issue from one person one by one sweep sniff it sweep it and take it throw it away 
and guys this can umuntu can end up on the roof taking isloane ningasiboni nina idlozi is faced with this animal they need to take it and throw it away or kill it or whatever the case may be so that is the process of ugufemba which already you can tell is very much different to the normal uh, issues that um a person can uh, go through when they show that with a Mguni doctor who is going to throw bones and then heal using Mguni medications, uh, processes and systems, etc, etc. So that is the number one way that Ildozilom Dawe will heal Lipinde uh, and also uh, to assist uh, individuals or families with issues either seeking information uh, from people or uh, exorcism getting rid of bad spirits or bad voodoos that have been done on families or an individual that has come uh, to fem but that is why you find the process is very 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 expensive you need to make sure that when you choose an individual who's gonna do the process for you it is the real deal guys because they can take a lot of money from you because as you can hear we don't do this on the feet they don't do this on the feet they do it on the knees it's very very risky it's very very tedious uh but it is a very thorough as well so it's not every healer that's going to femba uh, femba ring is a skill and unfortunately it's one of the skills that are dying out so you can find uguti uh, is somebody that used to femba uh, you get to them pande the kokom kulu has died before they could even teach you at gobela how to femba and you can get a lot of situations like that where you don't get the opportunity to femba other people have uh learned how to femba and they've chosen not to do it because i've just explained the process guys it's not easy it's not nice and uh, it risks lives and uh, back in the day there was also a stigma that went ngokufemba to say people by a lawyer whatever so they did not want to use the skill even though they were taught so what is important is to sufficiently fulfill the processes zomdawe within so even if the person is not going to work ngomdawe wake in terms of ukufemba so that this lozi is uh satisfied and is happy enough to release the person's funds when you're in young so that your in terms of the remuneration you get from your normal work or remuneration you get from whether inyanga that's still working a normal job or inyanga that is working people so red is a big color for umdawe in terms of alcohol as well we will usually appease it msamo with red wine uh, or uh, these red uh, alcohols those belong to um uh, umdawe in other pandas they believe in white and red alcohol in which they will get uh, a red alcohol and a white alcohol when they go and barula to fetch that spirit uh, to fetch that particular rosy lomdawe letwasana right so umdawe in terms of the water spirit is the basis but in terms of mguni and mdawe they are the priority they lead the ntwaso which means usually they'll start with mdawe in your ntwaso and end ngomgu and they'll start with mguni and they'll end with mdawe because they prioritize umdawe over umguni because we say umdawe has more power since they are a water spirit but are uh, compared to other spirits like your nzunza like your nkanyamba um, um uh, abalozi etc etc let me say compared to yonzunza and compared to kanyapa in kanyamba yamanzi it is junior in terms of the water spirits but when we are talking about mguni versus mdawe yomdawe will uh, be more powerful than yomguni so once a person goes and initiates the mdawe most of these issues we are saying will go oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> will disappear over time there are sicknesses uh, again that um they will stay with the healer because that's just the thorn in your flesh but most of them uh, they will disappear if it is that they were being caused by that mdawe spirit uh, you should also see a significant change in your uh what you call 
in your finances etc etc nala ma symptoms ikakhulu sometimes they will come back when it is that they feel that umda we need something done um uh, go and go to the water go and appease us at the water go and see us uh, whatever the case may be you'll get those sort of flutters in your stomach to for them to let them let you know that you are there but in terms of the cyclic and repetitive uh, symptoms zomdawe lezi ezigulisa ubuntu ngomzimba they will considerably go down if not at all disappear altogether um i think that is uh, it from my side if ever there are any questions on this particular subject yomdawe uh, please leave it uh, down in the comments and i will answer them i will uh, then move on to other spirits now that we've covered the basis uh, of Mguni and the basis of Umdawe. Any questions regarding those two topics, regarding or including the video I posted last, please post it in the comments below. Do not post it on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is for consultations. Also, please do not send me dreams. I do not have time. I'd love to, but I cannot. Uh, you can leave it under the dreams video and I will think about it. Um, I will consider if I can maybe uh, give another session with the dreams uh interpretations but please do not send those uh by whatsapp thank you so much and uh, for those who call me it is almost impossible to get a hold of me on the phone uh please leave a message if it is that you see that four or two six hours have passed i have not responded send another talk or so that your message can go on top i am not ignoring you sometimes i'll open a message i'll get disturbed and then i'll just just like now um i'll get a message and then i'm not able to return to the message because i got disturbed doing something else so please do not be discouraged by that just send another togoza and i will surely get back to you with my details uh but for consultations i do think i released the video but it's zero six one four one zero five six four five togoza koko a consultation please then I will give you the amounts as well as available dates. I have two types of consultations, one being virtual over the phone and one being face-to-face. -face. So once you contact me on uh, WhatsApp, I'll be able to then advise where I'm based, how much it is, etc., etc. Any other questions regarding these topics, you know what to do. Very good seeing you. I hope you keep well and see you next time. Ndawe.